The North Atlantic right whale is among the rarest of the baleen whale species, with an estimated population of fewer than 400 individuals. The right whale got its name because it was the right whale to hunt. It moved slowly and would float after being killed. While the whaling industry is no longer a threat to these animals, they remain critically endangered. Presently, a new crisis threatens the species, once again posed by humans. As the right whale migrates through industrialized areas of the ocean along the U.S. East Coast, many of these whales become entangled in fishing gear or struck by ships. Fishing gear entanglements have become one of the largest threats to the species and the welfare of those that remain. About 85% of right whales have been entangled at some point during their lives, with many suffering from multiple entanglements. The rope from fishing gear severely injures the whales as it cuts into their blubber, bone, and muscle. The ones that survive live with poor health and limited abilities to feed and reproduce. The less fortunate ones face a slow and painful death, either dying from drowning, infected wounds, or starvation. Many times, while an aerial survey team is conducting surveys of the whale population, they spot entangled whales. When this happens, they notify the Disentanglement Response Network and monitor the situation until the primary response team arrives with proper equipment. Once the response team arrives on site, they keep a safe distance and work with caution as they prepare to free the 100,000 pound creature. The team must stay on the boat at all times to avoid the danger of rescuers getting caught and dragged into the deep ocean as the whale could dive at any moment. The team uses a grappling hook to grab hold of the tangled fishing lines and rope gear. They then attach a series of buoys to the entangling rope, making it difficult for the whale to dive. As the whale swims forward, it pulls the rescue boat along. Much like whalers centuries ago were towed by a harpooned whale in what was called an Nantucket sleigh ride. But today, this team is saving whales, not hunting them. With the additional weight of the boat creating drag, the whale loses energy and eventually slows down. At this point in the rescue, the team makes a dangerous attempt to free the whale. The team uses a specialized cutting tool attached to a long pole designed to cut the rope, but not the whale. The aerial team continues to follow and monitor the whale during the disentanglement process. Once the whale is disentangled, the crew uses a grappling hook to collect and remove the fishing gear debris from the water. Recovered gear can prevent another incident, and more importantly, the team records and documents essential information about the rope and netting. This knowledge can help researchers to design better fishing methods without disturbing other marine life. The federal and state agencies continue to explore new ways of fishing and work to develop whale-safe gear. However, little progress has been made, and we are running out of time. Right whale deaths now outnumber births, and if something drastic is not put in place quickly, it may be too late, and the North Atlantic right whale's future will be lost.